So as we look closely at the Chief Justice's words of caution, we're asking whether ju ju the judiciary in this country is touchy about its own accountability. Joining us on the program tonight will be joined shortly by the former Chief Justice of India, Justice V. N. Kare. We have the Deputy Leader of the Opposition in the Rajya Sabha, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad. Lok Sabha MP and Congress spokesperson Manish Tiwari joins us tonight. <laughs> Senior Advocate Aman Lekhi is in the studio with us. Also joining us, columnist and author Tavleen Singh. Uh, my main focus essentially tonight is, is on what the Chief Justice said, but I would just like to get brief comments from the panel tonight on this whole tussle that we're seeing over Mamta Banerjee's remarks and the uproar that they have caused. Manish Tiwari, what do you think? Was she out of line as a Chief Minister to say this? I know it's a difficult question for you to answer, uh, but you know, many, many people have said that you know, she has stated uh, what many know to be true Argument. as well. I can hear you now. Well, I think, Nidhi, it's important to, uh, uh, to bear in mind that, uh, by and large, there is a perception in this country that the uh, judiciary has acquitted itself both honorably and uh, with integrity over the past six decades. So, therefore, uh, whenever uh, we do make any observation or any averment, you know, with regard to the judiciary, I think we should refrain from making a broad brush uh, insinuation to say the least. You know, if at all there is some evidence uh, with regard to the conduct of a particular judge and that uh, evidence is unimpeachable, then I think it's incumbent upon all of us to both bring it in the public domain and then follow the procedure which has been outlined both in the Constitution and the Judges' Inquiry Act. Uh, but suffice to say, that uh, with regard to the judiciary, which uh, is A, independent and B, you know, is the arbiter of a lot of executive actions and carries credibility with people at large, you know, we need to be circumspect in our observations. But Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, you're an eminent lawyer yourself as well. Uh, would, would you agree with that? Uh, how do you assess the reactions that have uh, come to, to Mamta Banerjee's statements? Well, first of all, I must be a little cautious, Nidhi. A contempt is pending. Notice have been issued. The matter is strictly sub -judice. Therefore, I would not like to make any specific comment in the context of what she has stated. Uh, whatever I have seen, I have seen from your channel. But yes, we are proud of Indian judiciary. It is a great pillar of our democracy. There are shortcomings, which we will be discussing separately. But. Uh, there is a need to have a reciprocal respect because judiciary is an important integral part of the country's democratic polity, constitutional governance, the right to uphold fundamental freedoms and also the right to quash any order if found to be illegal by the executive authority. But having said that, it is equally important that the trust of the people in the whole institution of judiciary also remains completely intact. Now, as far as this bill particularly is concerned, I have only one little observation to make. We have also some serious reservations about this bill. We have to ensure that their integrity and their independence remains intact. If a judge will hear a case against the executive, they will ask questions, including tough questions, that will involve seeking clarification from the lawyer concerned. Now, if any recommendation is there, you cannot ask tough questions. That is wrong. If Mr. Thomas's appointment as CVC was under question, the Supreme Court rightly asked questions, uncomfortable questions, and those who are in power will have to learn to live with those uncomfortable questions. That is how our polity has developed. It is in that sense that I see that we have to strike a right balance. Okay. I, I will come to that in much more detail because that's essentially on what we're focusing on. But Tavleen Singh, I just wanted your first reactions uh, to, to, the, to the Mamta Banerjee versus judiciary standoff. Do you agree with what Manish, for instance, said that, uh, you know, you have to be careful that you don't paint, uh, you know, the entire judiciary with the same brush? Or do you think there's been an overreaction to her comments? Um, you know, I very rarely agree with anything that Mamta Banerjee says. So I don't want you to ask me about anything she says because I would always be on the opposite side of it. But, but you know, I really think we're, as usual, missing the big picture. Do you know, the judiciary has been in a sort of crisis for 20 or 30 years. 20 years ago, there was a, a report by Bibek Debroy which said it was going to take 300 years 
to, uh, to clear the backlog of cases. What has the judiciary done about that? Do you know, I think that the judiciary, um, instead of, you know, always leaping upon contempt cases, and, you know, they probably slap me with one if I go talk too much, but, do you know, what about the judiciary's foundations that are virtually uh, cracking because of the fact that it's not, you know, it takes, it takes 20 years for a murder case in India. It's unheard of, this kind of thing. There are under trials, 16-year-old boys who spend years in jail for, because they can't pay bail. Do you know, there's something very sick in the judiciary, and it's become a lot worse lately with judges wanting to be TV stars. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.